Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and stick around. Also, if you need help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. I also have some self-study courses about manifesting your specific person. And I also have a members-only channel with a lot of perks for members, including live weekly workshops with a different manifesting topic each week, live weekly group coaching, a lot of exclusive content, monthly challenges for a chance to win a free one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, and a lot more. So if you're interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box, click on them, and they're going to take you to my website or to the membership channel. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. In today's video, I want to address a question that I get very, very often, and that is, do I need self-concept in order to manifest my desires? There is a big discussion in the manifesting community and ongoing discussion about the role and the place of self-concept when it comes to manifesting your desires. So today I want to give you my perspective. And if you're feeling confused about this debate, let's say that this discussion that is going on in the manifesting community, hopefully by the end of this video, things will feel much clearer for you. So this is what I'll be discussing in today's video. Stay tuned. So if you've been in the manifesting community for any amount of time, you've probably come across this discussion on self-concept. Is self-concept important to manifest my desires? Do I even need to work on my self-concept when it comes to manifesting my desires? Do I not? Uh, do I not need it? Is it not necessary or is it absolutely essential? What is exactly the case when it comes to self-concept and manifesting a desire or multiple desires? So I can tell you guys from my experience both my personal experience and my experience um, coaching a lot of people, that self-concept is one of those things that is both essential and non-essential at the same time. And I'm going to explain to you what I mean. When it comes to manifesting a desire, when it strictly comes to manifesting a desire, you don't actually need self-concept. You don't need to have an amazing, fantastic, high self-concept, um, high confidence, high self-esteem, feeling worthy of your desires. You can actually manifest any and all desires through mere repetition, day after day, over and over, revisiting the state of the wishful field. Your subconscious mind eventually is going to be impressed and it's going to push out whatever it is that you want. Or at the very least, you are going to see significant movement sooner or later in the direction of your desire. So from that point of view and from that perspective, self-concept is not actually necessary. For the purpose of just manifesting a desire, just seeing it come through, just uh, receiving significant movement, you don't actually need the self-concept. You don't need um, the beliefs of self-worth. You don't need the beliefs of I am confident, I am the prize, or I'm always chosen, I am always first, I always get what I want, I'm a master manifester, and so on. You don't need any of that. If you are able to stay consistent and persistent in your inner practice, day after day, multiple times a day, revisiting the state of the wishful field over and over and over again, eventually, I can tell you from a personal experience, it's always going to be pushed out sooner or later. That being said, there is a nuance, and it is a very important, very significant nuance when it comes to your self-concept, because without a good enough self-concept, without a high enough self-concept, there is a very high chance that you might get your manifestation or you might get significant movement towards your manifestation, but then all of that stops or it goes away. And I'm not saying this to frustrate you guys or to disappoint you. The only reason I'm saying this, and, and again, I'm saying this from my experience, is because your 3D is always going to reflect back to you what is dominantly in your inner world. If what is dominantly in your inner world is I am not worthy of having what I want or keeping what I want. I am not worthy of being loved. I'm not worthy of being chosen. I am never chosen. I am never number one. Nothing ever goes my way. Whatever I want, I always manifest the opposite. And all those kinds of assumptions that from time to time I hear on this channel and from you guys, then this is what your 3D has to match dominantly. 
So even if you have persisted a lot in doing your techniques, even if you have repeated your imaginal acts over and over again, it's absolutely possible that you may see movement. It is even possible that you might get your full manifestation. But if your dominant state is still someone who does not get what they want, does not deserve what they want, chances are that the 3D is going to go back to what you know. It is going to go back to what your dominant perception is and what your dominant assumption is. And if your assumption is, I never have what I want, then the 3D has to show you evidence that you don't have what you want. And so that means even if you got movement towards a manifestation, that movement sooner or later stops. It also means even if you got your manifestation, that manifestation, if you stay in that old self-concept, has to go back to what your old reality was because you're still in the old reality you're still in the old self you haven't shifted to the new version of yourself and so if that is the case the 3d has to match it accordingly and mirror it accordingly and this is why you guys self-concept is so important so if we're strictly answering the question do i need to have a good self-concept in order to manifest my desires the answer is probably no Probably you can just repeat your imaginal acts over and over again, get into the state, and then things are going to sort themselves out and you're going to get your movement or you're going to get your manifestation. At the same time, if your self-concept is still attached to your old self, to your old beliefs, to your old expectations, to the old you, then that old version has to keep being reflected to you because this is who you still are dominantly within. And this is why on this channel, I very, very much promote sustainable change. I don't promote just getting your manifestation, just getting movement, because I know that if you don't change from your old self to your new self, that movement, that manifestation has very few chances of lasting. And that is why I always promote and I always teach on this channel sustainable change, sustainable shifts in your state, sustainable shifts in your energy, raising your baseline vibration level. This is why I always teach these things, not to bother you guys, not to make you suffer, not to make it harder for you, but because this is the only sustainable way that I have found, not only for people to get their manifestations, that includes me, but also to keep their manifestations, to keep them going, to keep enjoying them. Because what is the point of getting some movement, even if it's significant movement, and then losing it the next day, the following week, the following month? Same with getting your manifestation. What is the point of getting it if you're going to lose it again? So this is, you guys, where good self-concept comes in. This is where your self-concept work comes in. And it doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be difficult. You can embody it and you can um, incorporate it in your day-to-day -day life and your day-to-day -day activities. But ultimately, if your self-concept is still aligned with your old version of self, with your old reality, then this is what your 3D reality has to keep showing to you. And this is why it is so important to also work on your self-concept. If you need to work on your self-concept, not everyone does, so that you can achieve sustainable change, so that you can get your manifestations, but also keep them, so that you can get movement towards your manifestation and then keep getting movement and keep getting that momentum and keep getting things going until everything unfolds and your desire is yours. Because otherwise, you're going to have a lot of hot and cold, you're going to have a lot of inconsistent results and it is frustrating, it is disappointing, it is heartbreaking, and I know how bad it feels. So do the inner work, take it seriously, see it as a lifestyle, and you will see how much easier you'll be able to get your manifestations and also keep them because now you are the new version of yourself. You are not your old self anymore. You're not the person any longer who used to identify with all these things that don't serve you. You are now aligned with all the things that serve you, with the assumptions that serve you, with the perceptions of reality that serve you. And so now your 3D reality has to show you something different that is aligned with your new version of self. And so this is you guys, the truth. This is how I see things from my perspective, as I said, from my personal experience and from my coaching experience. As you change yourself, in other words, as you change your self-concept, things are going to be changing permanently in your life and they're going to become much more effortless, much easier, much more natural, and they're going to come in and flow in so much easier. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.